As Director of Public Relations, I'm responsible for uh, all of the public relations activities for Mazda in the United States. So essentially we have a very small team of about five people who do all of that. I've been racing since 1988. Racing is, is so magnificently addictive. I started in the SCCA, the Sports Car Club of America, as a corner worker. I had the bug desperately. I um, befriended someone who uh, was in his second year of racing. He let me drive his car in a driving school. And I was signed off at the end of that first school for my license. It's, it's magic, it's, it's the ultimate drug, it's the ultimate high. And unfortunately, just like a drug, once you've got it in your system, it's so hard to get it out. my passion and the, and the people within this company really sparked my passion. So our consumers can come in. Been here about 19 years, almost 20 years. Um, and I actually started in an, as an IT guy. My objective with the consumer is to try to bring them to their objective as quickly as possible. If you put me behind the wheel of a car, I spin the car more than I, I drive it straight. So what I do is I crew. My latest thing that I do with, with the teams is um, I do broadcast from with inside the cars so consumers can watch it live. Mazda was really, really kind of sparked my passion. When they put cars on the track, it's not about horsepower. It's about controlling the vehicle. And I think the guys that race Mazdas, they see the control and they see the excitement and they feel that they're, they're actually part of that vehicle when they're driving it. You know, when you're, when you're a kid, everyone's always asking you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And everyone wants to be an astronaut or a fireman or something. I actually wanted to work at Mazda R&D, believe it or not. I was very much a mechanical kid, and my dad had an RX-7, and that was the coolest thing in the world to me. And I kind of wanted to be an engineer at that point. I wanted to be one of the guys that designed RX-7s. My main purpose is, is, is uh, vehicle evaluation. It really is core to setting the targets for how the car should feel. What's going to make a Mazda feel like a Mazda? I've got a, a Miata that I race in the series called the 24 Hours of Lemons, which is a race series where the cars have to be built for, for less than $500, just racing junk. I managed to build and turbocharge a Miata for, for $500. We built it out of uh, two crashed bodies that we, we welded together and eight blown up engines that we pieced together and then a turbo from a Mexican Dodge. We've done about 20 races with that car and have been really successful with it. We really have very enthusiastic people who are really into doing what we do. I think that's what that really shows in the cars. The enduro races have been really um, rewarding as far as team efforts go. It's everybody pulling together. It actually, it, it brings me closer to the company. Everyone jokes there's no I in team. In endurance racing, there truly isn't. Everybody I work with races or has raced or understands racing. It's something that just everybody in the company understands and gets and respects.